How's it going guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals and here's a quick lighting breakdown from a recent passion project. And to tell you a little bit more about the creative direction, here's Leslie. So the goal was really just to capture a few different vibes, moods into like a moving image. Uh, the reason I wanted to do Kiana with the Barbie doll background was just to like kind of juxtapose the Barbie Karen world behind a girl that's like super naturally pretty and unique. I guess try to capture what it feels like to be taken from that and having something to try to take you away from your natural beauty and force you into the Barbie world. Well, there was one reference particularly was Cardi B's music video where she has the Barbie dolls in her hair. That was a big inspo for me. And then the claw came from Noel Calizo. He is an art director in Vegas. He uh, got his friend to laser cut some pieces of wood. He scaled them up, cut them out, and then uh, we spray painted them. As Leslie mentioned, we were looking to capture something more along the lines of a moving portrait that could serve as a standalone piece. We didn't have an extensive shot list or wanted a bunch of different setups. We just wanted a couple of dope looks to get the creative juices flowing. Now, this was a super bare bones crew, so I didn't have anyone running BTS, so apologies for the rather dull footage. For camera, I decided to use the FX6 because it was able to autofocus while in slow motion. Leslie mentioned she wanted subtle dolly moves, so pulling focus manually wasn't really an option because I needed it to work without having to think about it. I wanted to spend less time worrying about if the shot was in focus and spend more time focused on talent and composition. I used the Sony 50mm 1.4 from Zeiss, which is one of my favorite Sony lenses, and I used a pretty slow autofocus transition speed so that pulls were slow and smooth. Focus didn't hiccup a single time throughout the entire shoot and to me, looks completely organic. I rated the camera at 200 EI for a squeaky clean noise floor and because there weren't a lot of highlights in our scene. The FX6 is quickly becoming one of my favorite cameras because operation is super snappy in such a tiny little body. Without the grip on the side, it's quite literally a mini FX9 and I love being able to rig it out and still have a lightweight package. I will say though, a quirk I ran into was that you're not able to preview your exposure indexes during playback. You technically can, but the indexes are stuck at their default values, not what you've actually programmed into your camera. So even though I was shooting at 200 EI, I was only able to monitor at 320 EI during playback, so everything looked nearly a stopped brighter when we were reviewing footage on set. Come on, Sony. Lighting was pretty minimal. I knew we wanted to light from overhead, so I needed to use a low profile fixture that was able to accommodate relatively low ceilings. I ended up going with Quasar Rainbows rigged slightly overhead, and this is also known as butterfly lighting and is a general go-to for most beauty setups. To rig this, I set up a combo stand with a junior boom since I wanted to use three tubes as opposed to one for a slightly softer source. I daisy chained each fixture with RJ45 cables and set the tubes to lead follow mode so I could control each fixture from a single tube. I added a bit of black wrap to the edge of the fixture to control spill and avoid additional shadows on the backdrop. For fill, I used a 4x Ultra Balance just under the Dana Dolly to give a little bit of slight lift to the shadows. To light the background on the first setup, I stuck the Rotolite Titan X2 on the floor pointing up towards the backdrop, which gave the suspended Barbies an ominous feel and also gave the paper backdrop a slight vignette around the talent. I'm actually in the process of reviewing this beast of a light and it'll be out soon. To lower the claw, we just used a C-stand and slowly lowered one of the stages while Noel activated the arm. It didn't lower as smooth as we were hoping for, but it actually had this scrappiness that we were actually pretty happy with and reminded us of how janky claw machines actually are. For the second setup, I actually took away the background light and added Aperture MCs into the clouds Leslie made from China Balls. I used the Cytus Link app to control the fixtures and set up the lighting effects, and I really, really dislike using apps to control equipment, but the Cytus Link app is actually really well designed and really, really well suited when using multiple fixtures. In my opinion, Aperture's lightning effect looks really cliche, so I opted for the pulsing effect instead, which fit the overall feel a little bit more since we were shooting in high speed. I set the color temperature slightly differently per fixture to give a little bit of variance and triggered each effect independently so that they wouldn't be on the same cycle. Since we had these illuminated floating clouds, we didn't really need to light the background since it sort of served as our base layer that tied all the clouds together. Also, whenever our clouds pulsed with light, it was able to interact with the background and gave her a really interesting look. After we were happy with what we captured, we set the lighting effect to fire and got a slightly different look and that's the basic gist of it. 
Hopefully this video is helpful in some way. Shout out to our makeup artist Angela for absolutely killing these looks and Noelle for building the claw and letting us use his studio. I really love working on low key projects like this because it's really easy to go through the motions with regular work so it's really important to just get away and do something creative that feeds the soul. I'm thoroughly enjoying the FX6. I had planned on using this camera exclusively for YouTube but I'm enjoying bringing it out on my actual work so much that I might consider just getting a second. I like my cameras how I like the Sith. Always do. There are no more, no less. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.